Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to all under the squirrel tree. So, I actually don't have anything for you in the lines of a haul or craft or anything like that. Um, what I do have is a beautiful antique plate that I got at uh, Value Village for $7.99. Ages and ages and ages and ages ago. Um, I actually normally just keep this up for decoration on my counter, but I was cleaning my counter, so I took it off, put it there, and didn't move it. So there it will sit looking pretty. This is the Blue Willow China pattern, and it is all over, everywhere. You look at Downton Abbey, uh, Murdoch Mysteries, any of those, like any shows, many, many, many shows will have somewhere in this in the background, we'll have this pattern. Father Brown. Um, Father Brown, in one episode of that, they actually talk about, very, very briefly, but about the new new China pattern. Anyway, um, this is one of my favorite pattern in the whole wide world. I have tons of it. Little pieces here and there. I've got some new stuff that Dominion used to hand out back when there was a Dominion grocery store. Uh, and you buy so many dollars worth of groceries and then you could get a collection of plates and whatever. Um, Opal drinks out of one of those bowls and I have an antique one, a very very old one uh, from the 1920s um, that she drinks out of, eats out of. Anyway, that's enough of that pattern. What I wanted to talk about today was, um, dum -da -da -dum -dum, I'm looking for something that I don't have. Uh, story of my life. Okay, well, we'll muddle through as best we can. Okay, put this back over here, out of the way. I have mentioned on several occasions that I use, I, I don't use my own money for um, Timu. I can't really afford, I can't really afford uh, Timu shopping as often as I would like, shall we say. I mean, Timu is great. It makes everything easily affordable, but I mean, I like to do it a lot, so <laughs> I can't afford to. Um, so, I have been doing these surveys, and whatever I make from the surveys is what I use to buy my Timu stuff with. So, I'm going to tell you about a couple of those different places. Um, you might be interested in doing them too. I figured, put it out there. If you want to, you can. If not, you don't have to. So, the first place that I use... Um, on a regular basis. Whoops, I've already messed up. <laughs> it's called Cumi. I have my little notes over to the side here. Q-M-E-E. -E. Now, it's uh, a survey site. You have to, you download it from um, Google Play Store or wherever you download things from iPhones. I'm not sure where that comes from. But anyway, you download the site from there. You sign in. Um, you will get a sign-in bonus of 50 points or something like that. You do a survey and you get points. And uh, on QME, now a, a lot of the, all of them have different, you know, little different aspects to them. So I'm going to go over QME first. QME has a daily poll, which is just for fun. It keeps you get a streak when you um, each day if you interact with the site. It adds a day. You get a streak, and as your streak grows, um, the higher you know. Instead of getting ten cents for a survey, you'll get eleven. And I know it sounds very trivial, but it, it does add up eventually. Uh, they also have a daily quiz, which if you get the answer right, you get three points. And again, you know, it, it's it's fun. Keeps your mind sharp. 
uh, they will notify you when there are new surveys available. And just because it says, you know, there's a hot survey ide ideal for you uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's ideal for you, but, you know, if you're sitting around playing, doing nothing, doesn't hurt to check it out. You can also, uh, one of the things that they can do, you can do on QME is download games. And you play the games, and as you advance certain levels, um, you get QME points. I'm not sure what they call them, points anyway. Um, you have to reach certain levels within a certain period of time. Right now I'm doing match three. And I have to, if, if, to get the first bonus, which is like 50 cents, um, I had to reach level 50 within 30 days. The next one up is like 75 cents and it'll be level 100 or something like that. It, they're very, very clear when explaining each level and the amounts to you. Um, but you do have to meet the, the levels on time to get the, the reward, and you have to wait until the offer is over to get have it show up on your account. But, I mean, that's fine, you know? It's not going anywhere. Um, when the surveys are not a match... You don't get anything. Um, you know, it'll say, oh, darn, this survey wasn't ideal. Try again or whatever, whatever. No points for that. Um, now, the points, as they accumulate, you can use them for gift cards. Various stores. Now, one of these is... Okay, yeah, so with QME, you can get gift cards for... Uh, Amazon, Old Navy, Starbucks, Uber, uh, Walmart, uh, PayPal, I think. No, PayPal doesn't work in Canada. I think they're working on that to change that, but right now PayPal isn't working in Canada. Um, you can also, you, you know, keep playing and accumulate your points and donate them to a charity. The only thing is they have it's three or four different charities and you can't choose which one you want to donate to. Um, I mean, you can't donate to one of your own. Like, I would want to donate to uh, a wildlife rescue type thing. They don't have any of those on there. They've got Doctors Without Borders and different things like that, which are wonderful. But you do have to pick from one of the ones that they offer, and that's fine. Um, do 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 I think the minimum that you can, you have to work up to is $5, like five, uh, you can't uh, get like a $3 card or anything, it's a $5 card is the minimum. So that's QME, I like it, I do do it every day, I've got like a 59 day streak going, and I get about two cents extra on the surveys, and like I said, they add up, it sounds very trivial, but they, they add up. The next one... So that's Q-M-E-E. -E. The next one that I use is Adipole. We'll make sure I... It's pretty good, too. I really like... They do have PayPal to Canada. This is where I get most of my um, PayPal money from when I do the surveys. Now, they offer PayPal... Revolut, which I think is something similar to play PayPal, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really checked into it because I have no interest in it. <laughs> uh, or donate. They don't have a lot of variety on where you can, like, cash your points in. So if you have a PayPal account or if you're interested in donating, then it's perfect. Um, things may change. I don't know. You know, they might start adding different things. I, I'm not sure at the moment, but right now it's basically PayPal, Revolut, or donate. Um, the minimum for PayPal is $5, which is fine. Uh, dum, da, 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 the min yeah, the, the minimum for Re Revolut and Donate is uh, four fifty. So you can rack up your points to $4.50 and then, you know, donate it to a charity or whatever. Or you can rack it up to $5 and put it in your PayPal account. I do have, for Adipole, I have a... Uh, referral code 
and it is H Z J uh, zero J. If zero doesn't work, try O. I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, when you do that, if you do sign up with Adipole and use that code, I will get 50 cents, you'll get 50 cents, and from however many surveys you do after that, I get 10%. That, that doesn't come off your surveys. If you make a dollar, um, you get your dollar, but I get 10 cents. So, you know, bonus for me. <laughs> Uh, and it's only they only allow a certain number of people to to do that. So you know, jump in if you want. If not, that's fine too. Uh, yeah, that's that. Now, with Adipole. Oh, Adipole is with now with Cumi. They will list all of the surveys, and they'll have beside it like a little flame, and that's supposed to mean that the survey is really good for you. Um, they'll have the little Starburst thing, and that means that the survey's brand new and you're getting a chance to get in before other people. Um, but, but that's pretty much it. Now, with Adipole, I really do like it because they have a star system where when you fill out your, your profile in the beginning, when you, when you register and you fill out your profile, um, Adipole will sort of do a general match, and it will show you on... It ha it's out of five stars. If the survey is really good and matches up with a lot of things in your profile, it will have four, three, four, or five stars. You know you got a better chance at uh, completing that one. If it's got like one star or half a star or whatever, you can still try it because you never know. I've had lots of times when a half star uh, survey has been accepted, gone through. But usually you can pretty much count on the more stars, the better chances you are completing the survey. That makes it easier to, like with, with the, some of the other ones, you have to just click, 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 click all the way through. Without a poll, you can at least make the decision for yourself if you're interested or not. Uh, they have little circles beside each survey. And they'll have like a little symbol for, you know, pressing buttons or whatever. The, cir the circles are different colors, and I haven't just figured out yet whether the colors mean anything or whether they're just random or, or whatever. If I do find out, I'll let you know. Or if you do this and you find out, let me know. Uh, yeah, so that was that. That's Adipole. I really like it. I do quite well on there. I just, since Saturday, have made uh, $5 and 40 something cents. I just put into my bank account from PayPal. The last survey one that I use is Swagbucks. Oh, that noise. Swagbucks. It's really great. I really, really love this one. I really recommend this one. I do have a similar code for this one. Hmm. Maybe I don't. Oh well. If I do, I'll put it up. If I don't, maybe it was... Eh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, with swag bucks, yeah, this is my favorite by far. Um, there is a really good variety of uh, gift cards that you can work towards like a huge variety um, Sephora and all of the generals like Walmart and the only thing Swagbucks doesn't have is PayPal PayPal okay I made a mistake please I'm sorry Adipole and Cumi PayPal is working in Canada that's where I get my PayPal payments from Swagbucks at the moment does not have PayPal for Canada, but it has awesome gift cards and really easily obtainable gift cards. My I mainly do Walmart because I do my groceries at Walmart. Now, I've been doing Swagbucks for about three weeks now, and I've already made $20 for 
uh, Walmart and gift cards for Walmart. So there's like 20 bucks off my grocery list. So I'm really, really happy with that. Swag bucks is great. They add up fast. Or, or well, I should I don't say fast, like you're not going to get $20 worth of gift cards in a week. But I mean, um, they do add up quite quickly. Pardon me. You get a bunch when you sign up. Um, you get some for doing every survey. You can download games and play them, and similar to the other ones, um, the further you get ahead in the game, the more points you get, the more. They call them swag bucks. I, I'll call them points. Um, the more points you get. So it's really simple. You play a lot of games, you earn a lot of points. You can also do the surveys, which are great. They're very clear. It's, you know, they're, they don't have, they don't overload them. They only show what is, you know, fits your profile. Doesn't necessarily mean you'll complete the survey, but it's there for your profile. They're not going to send you a bunch that are definitely not going to match. Um, the other thing that is really awesome about Swagbucks is if you don't qualify, if you don't even, like you're terminated right away from the, the survey, you still get one point. So, again, I mean, one point is as much, but if you're doing 20 surveys a day, which could take maybe an hour, um, if even if of, of those 20, if 15 of them say, no, you can't do the survey, you're still getting 15 points on most of them. There are a few that don't do that, and they tell you. It'll have a little information, a little that little eye thing beside the, the survey, and if that's one of the surveys that doesn't compensate you for an incomplete um, survey, it will tell you. So, you know, you're, you're not going to waste your time and not get your, your point. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, they also have, like, Swagbox is, is incredible. They've got the games, they've got the surveys, they've got polls that you can do. You answer a question, you get a point. They've got searches where you search a store, one of the stores that they have listed, you just click on it, search, like, you know, look at the site, you come back, you've got the point. Um, they have games to download and play. You can upload receipts. If you've been to, like, I upload from No Frills. I go to No Frills. That's where I do most of my, or a lot of my grocery shopping. So I upload my, my No Frills receipts. You get a point for uploading the receipt. Now, Swagbox will have a list of different products. Like on, on last week's, they had cat food, um, oranges, apples, bananas, a whole bunch of different things. They had different deodorants and laundry soaps and shampoos and all these different things. But you check it on your phone. And then afterwards, when you re uh, download your receipt or upload your receipt, if you've got those things on your receipt, you'll get an extra point. So last week I did my like $162 worth of groceries and I got my one uh, point for uploading the receipt, but I also got a point for the oranges that I bought, a point for the tomatoes that I bought, and a point for the bananas that I bought. So I got four points. And again, it adds up pretty quickly. Uh, for Walmart, you only need uh, for most of the gift cards that I've checked, you only need 350 points for a $5 card. The one hitch first time is that the, like the first time that you want to order one, you have to order a $10 card, which means is 750 points. But again, you know, it adds up quickly, fairly quickly. Um, you get your $10 gift card sent right to your phone. I usually take a screenshot. It goes to your email. They're all online. You don't get it in the mail or anything. They're online. Uh, it'll go to your email, and I take a screenshot of it from my email, and then put it. I have a folder on my phone that's like just for gift cards. And I'm, when I get to the store, I open up the file. You know, and there's my, you know, all my little Walmart five dollar gift cards. Um, but yeah, the first time you do it, you have to. Get a $10 card, 750 points. After that, you can do the $5 cards. I always do that because it feels faster. Probably not, but it feels faster. Um, yeah, so Swagbucks is amazing. It really, 
uh, pays off, I mean, comparatively, really quickly. It's still, like I said, you're not going to get, you know, your entire grocery bill paid for in a month. But 20 bucks is 20 bucks. And um, as far as the other ones in the PayPal goes, in a month I can make enough to get a Timu order. And that's that makes me very happy. The last thing that I do, I really do recommend swag books. I recommend them both, or like all three of them. They are really good. Uh, I have a lot of time, so that's what I do. Um, I, I would otherwise be playing games on my phone anyway, or just sitting there watching videos. Um, I have found that some of these surveys, because they cover everything from purchasing different shampoos to political opinions to um, fashion choices. I mean, you name it, there's a survey about it. So I have actually discovered that I'm finding my interest peaked in, in subjects that I wouldn't normally have you know, paid attention to before. So it's a little bit mind expanding as well. I mean, that's, you know, that might be just me, but are you going to come up and say hello? She can't make up her mind. So, the last thing that I do um, to try and try and bring in a few, you're coming up, aren't you? A few extra pennies is Receipt Hog. Now, it's not surveys, although apparently, if you do enough uh, surveys, you, I mean, you do enough receipts, eventually you get up to a level where they can. Um, what are you doing? You gonna sit? Well, there's a little moment's entertainment. Receipt hogs. I hope I've spelled receipt right. It is the proper spelling of receipt hogs. And this is another app that you download. They're all apps that you have to download. Um, with this one, you take a picture of any receipt grocery, gas bill, gas, gas, um, you know, when you go to the gas station and fill up your tank with gas, um, pick up prescriptions at the pharmacy, pick up stamps at the post office, uh, my corner store, and I mean, it's not a brand, it's not a chain, it's just a little, um, mom and pop convenience store in my complex, their receipt is accepted. And I did not know that until yesterday. And I kept thinking of all the times I've run there for like ice cream cones and, you know, milk or yogurt or whatever. Uh, I could have been getting the receipt and, you know, adding that to it. But I do know that now. So, oh, this is the other one that I have the referral code for. And Opal's sitting on it. So this referral code is Z-E-M... Nine two two one nine, and if you sign up for this and then use my referral code, you get five free spins, which is something that I'm going to get to in a second, and two hundred and fifty points and five free spins. Now. Receipt hog is a little slow. It's not, not, definitely not one of those, um, you know, you're, you're going to get your groceries paid for immediately. Opal, because you're sitting there, I have to hold this. Do you care? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> um, but all you do is take a picture of your receipt. They scan it in. And... Uh, the total they rounded. I'm not sure how they rounded. I forgot. I think it's every twenty dollars is a point or something like something similar to that. Uh, and then you get your tickets, and your tickets that can add up to. I have added. They have. Um, did I not? Oh, okay, yeah, they don't, 
uh, what might be a drawback or, or you know, deterrent to some people is they only pay out to PayPal, which is great because that's the one that I want. Um, the Visa prepaid cards and Amazon gift cards. So if those three things, you know, are something that you are interested in, um, by all means, download this and start saving towards them. Uh, I had the, I thought I had the, oh, yeah, there's all, uh, they also have where you can link a store, like I have linked No Frills to my Receipt Hogs account. It's still pending. Um, but whenever you receive, a, whenever you scan the receipt from that place, I think you get an extra point, something like that. This is also, I mean, it will, you can read it online yourself. You don't have to download it to check these out. You can check them out without downloading. Uh, but they're great. And, you know, all in total between the three of them, the three polling ones that I've done, the QME, Adipole, and Swagbucks, in the last uh, four months, I have probably made about 70 80 maybe $90. I, I, can, I can stop and figure it out, but it's been a lot because it's been two very big Timu hauls, and then I just put in uh, a big plop of money. Plop. <laughs> but there's, a, there's a good financial term, plop. A big plop of money uh, into my account. Another one that is very slow, but I do it because, I mean, it literally takes less than a minute it's called cattle c-a-d-d-l-e and every morning i hey <laughs> every morning i open it up and it'll have a quick little survey one is um do you buy cocoa powder and you mark off yes and you get five um, points five cents they actually call it cents uh, every day if you did this um, seven days a week you get 35 cents plus there are some weeks when they'll have a few extra questions uh, to answer where so you might actually end up spending three minutes on the site but that one like I said it's very it's slow going but I have like last year when I was when I was doing it when I first started doing it I forget so many mornings and there'd be like weeks at a time that I didn't go in and do it. Now New Year's this year I started uh, I made myself promise to myself that I would do cattle every morning and I've racked up uh, seven dollars and something with cattle you get to twenty dollars and then they will mail you a check like a physical paper check. So at the, this point in time, I don't think they have any other means of um, getting, you know, redeeming the, the points, but I'm, I'm okay to check, wait in the mail for a check. It takes a couple of days to, to, get, to come. I'm okay with that. It's 20 bucks off the groceries, right? The way groceries are raising prices these days, Every single penny helps. I can't believe I spent a whole half hour almost talking about this. So, that's what I do under the squirrel tree. Um, I do surveys. I make a couple of extra bucks because I don't... I mean, like I said, I have the time. I am disabled, so I don't go... I mean, I don't work. I don't go out and about that much. Um... So I have a lot of time to sit and do these surveys and have fun with the games and things like that. And then it's adding up. Um, as long as I can order from Timu and not go broke, I'm good. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in it. If you're not, that's okay. Uh, if you know of other ones that are good. Like I like I said, I know um, Cattle, Cumi, Adipal, and uh, Swagbucks. But if you know of any others that are good, that you've, you know, used, let me know. I would really love to know. Um, the same with the Receipt Hog. I know that there's a few different companies out there that are 
similar to that where you upload your receipt and add, add up. If you know any of those, let me know because I would really love to expand my uh, expand my library of free money. <laughs> Who wouldn't, right? Anyway, thank you for sitting this long, if you have. Yes, Opal, I know. Um, thank you for joining me. Give it, Opal, don't hit the phone, please. Um, give it a thumbs up or a pause up. <laughs> Leave a comment. Let me know if you think you might want to try some of these things. Uh, if you've got the time um, or the inclination or whatever, I can stop talking now. Let me know. Leave a like. Talk to you soon. Love y'all. Bye-bye.